Hello everybody. Um, I th think the last video I shot was of a pure marine engine. So I just thought today to play a fair, we would take a look at a pure automotive engine. We'll take a look at some of the features on it and uh, how it differs from the marine engine. Um, I think you'll agree that this engine looks really quite nice. She's been restored completely from the crankshaft up, everything done. So she's just ready to pop into a bus now or a vintage lorry or whatever. Okay, what are the features? First of all, you've got a compressor. You're not going to have a compressor on a marine engine or very unlikely on an industrial engine either. Uh, you've got an oil pump here, shaft driven oil pump, which would be for brakes or again, or whatever. Uh, you've got a, a lightish flyweight. It's not a heavy flyweight. It's a very commoner garden, light, light flyweight. Oh, by the way, we can't spend a lot of time on this video because we're, we're having showers here today and we're going to get wet. Uh, what else have I got? Uh, we've got your conventional throttle, of course. Um, we've got the inlet manifold, which is above the exhaust. We just pop around now and take a look at the exhaust as well. Center drop, which is very common on automotive engines and quite rare on marine engines. Although our own personal 5ALW has a scent to drop exhaust, but that's of course a marinized engine, not a pure engine. Starter's the same, block's the same, crankshaft's essentially the same, the heads are the same. Water rails are fairly standard really. Um, so that's about it. Okay, so now for the moment you've all been waiting for, let's fire up and see what she does. We can't keep her running for very long because we've no coolant on her. Now since this engine has been rebuilt I will confess we've started her. We have started her already but she started first touch of the button no absolutely no hesitation. Check the oil pressure whenever she starts up. one rocker there that's not oiling but we'll soon sort that out we can sort that out by blowing air down through that hole there or a little bit of fine wire and of course we'll check these other rockers as well before she before she goes out so that's it brief video hope you enjoyed it 